For more than 2,500 years, rug makers have produced a seemingly endless variety of designs. From religious symbols, or tales of heroic deeds, to purely decorative motifs, rug making has evolved into an art form. And today, weavers are experimenting with more innovative patterns. From the arts and crafts movement, to Art Nouveau, to the leading edge of contemporary design. Whether it's traditional or contemporary, creating a rug is a complicated task requiring a variety of distinct skills and techniques. Most of the techniques and tools used to make rugs have remained constant through the years. All rugs begin with a unique design which is then hand-rendered on a cartoon, a grid that serves as a map for the weaver. Each tiny square represents one knot. Rugs can be woven from many different materials, including silk and cotton. But the most desirable is wool. In the course of normal wear, many woolen rugs develop a patina, which enhances the rug's color palette. In test after test, wool has shown that it can outperform any other fiber. One reason for this is wool's extraordinary molecular memory that enables all wool products to retain their shape and their color longer than other fibers. The result is rugs that look better and last longer. Another benefit of wool's excellent molecular memory is its resiliency, making it resistant to excessive wear, footprints, and furniture marks. In addition, tests have proven that not only does wool look and feel better, it also cleans better than any other fiber. And finally, wool is naturally flame resistant. Wool self-extinguishes when the source of the fire is removed. The quality of your rug depends greatly on the quality of the wool used to make the rug. The quality of the wool can be affected by several factors, including the climate and altitude where the sheep are raised, the age of the sheep, the time of the year when shearing occurs, and the part of the sheep where the wool comes from. Wool from the chest and underbelly is the longest and most expensive. It gives the rug's wool excellent strength luster, resilience, softness, and durability. Long staple wool from New Zealand, the wool used in many Nurasan rugs, is considered to be the most effective for rug manufacturing. To begin the rug making process, raw wool is spun into yarn, then it's separated, and finally, thoroughly washed. The yarns are then carefully dyed in a process that is traditionally entrusted to the most skillful craftsmen. Until the 19th century, rug materials were colored with dyes made from plants, minerals, and even shellfish. These dyes produced vibrant colors, but they tended to wash out over time. In many cases, the aging process of the colors would lend a soft vintage quality to the rug. Some natural dyes, however, weakened the wool fiber, resulting in uneven patterns of wear and color intensity over time. Beginning in the 19th century, chemical dyes began replacing natural ones. Today's chromium dyes give the weaver a wider range of colors to choose from, from the richest and deepest jewel tones to the most subtle pastels. And just as important, the chromium dyes are more resistant to becoming washed out, won't run or streak, and don't compromise the durability of the rug. Once the yarns are spun and dyed, the loom is prepared for the weaving process. Although the art of rug weaving is very time consuming, it is also a fairly basic one, requiring a simple loom, a few tools, and some yarn. There are two basic types of looms, the vertical, and the horizontal. Most rugs are made on vertical looms, which consist of two vertical posts and two adjustable crossbeams. 
The warp of the rug is created by winding parallel threads vertically between the two crossbeams. The ends of the warp threads will become the fringe of the rug. The rows of knots are anchored and aligned by the horizontal weft threads. In a hand-knotted rug, the weaver ties each knot individually through the warp threads. The knots are then hammered into the weft, helping ensure the durability of the rug. After five or six inches of knots have been tied, the weaver usually trims the tufts slightly, revealing the rug's design more clearly. Once the weaving is done, the rug is then put through the shearing process. Here, the tops of the loops are sheared to expose the thread ends for a softer, plusher, and more uniform pile. Hand-tufted rugs are created by substituting the time-consuming craft of hand knotting with the faster method of looping yarn through a canvas-type backing with a handheld tufting gun. This method not only saves a lot of time, it also keeps the price of the rug lower than a knotted rug of equal size and comparable quality. Hand-hooked rugs are produced in much the same way, except the loops of yarn are left intact to form a knobby pile. A flat weave rug is constructed without a pile. Here, colored weft yarns are woven through the warps to create the pattern. It's important to remember that no handmade rug is perfectly symmetrical or uniform. From the dyeing process through the shearing process, the work is done entirely by hand, making it inevitable that most rugs will have slight irregularities. Consequently, each rug has its own distinct personality. The most high-tech and precise method of rug making is the power loom. Recent advances in technology have greatly expanded the fashion and quality range of these rugs. These state-of-the-art looms can produce as many as 30 different shades of color in a single design. Once the weaving and shearing processes are finished, all rugs go through a lengthy and painstaking washing. This washing process is specifically designed to give the carpet pile a beautiful silky texture and to create a brilliant and even sheen. Finally, many rug designs are hand-carved from the deep carpet pile. This brings out the beauty of the rug's design against the background colors. They are also hand-surged. The rug's density, or number of knots per square inch, can be a useful indicator of the fineness and durability of the rug. Generally, the more knots, the better. A superb oriental rug may have more than 500 to 1,000 knots per square inch. On hand-knotted rugs, you can readily see the density of the knotting of the rug by looking at the back of the piece. Each knot shows itself as a single square on the back of the rug. Regardless of the design, density, or method of construction, rugs are becoming less defined by just the four walls of a room. Nurasan creates a wide assortment of shapes and sizes, giving consumers the ability to create a distinctive and truly personal fashion statement in any part of the home.